Yep. All right, what's this? Okay. I needed this for some testing. I wanted basically a USB extender doohickey that I could disconnect the five volts or the data lines and I could kind of select which lines were connected so I could do like some power monitoring, data monitoring. Uh, so this just has USB-C, type A port, and then these 100 milliamps, which is in the middle and you can just flick them back and forth to, to select which ones are connected. All right, what's this? Um, this is another request. So I guess, you know, uh, Semtech, which they're famous for their LoRa chips, they came up with a couple of years ago, they came up with the SX 1262, which is a longer range, better, power management LoRa chipset um, that hopefully uses a similar underlying SPI protocol driver. Um, so uh, it has very, very similar, but not quite exactly same footprint as the SX1272 or 76 series. So I made a quick breakout for it and I'll get adjusted the, the board we had. Okay, what's this? This is um, by request, uh, Carter really wanted me to update the soil sensor because you know it's it, it's not bad, but like it's the using the capacitive peripheral on the Sam D09 is not it wasn't linear and it was a little annoying. Um, so this is a, a version that uses capacitive sensing, but doesn't manually. It doesn't use a peripheral. It literally just like excites a you know one mega ohms RC filter and just sees what the delay is to measure the capacitance. Um, so it has like you know two. You know the uh, power and it basically creates a capacitor with the you know ground and and sensor input and then uh uses stemma qt now instead of stemma so you can chain it so you have multiple soil sensors and then address selection and then i decided to make a trinky version so it's kind of an all-in-one variety it's got like the stemma qt layout and then it's got this soil sensor part and it's a samd 21 and then i also tossed a light sensor a neopixel and an ht20 on there so you could have like light temperature humidity and soil moisture it's just kind of an all-in-one like a little plant friend we need a good name for this one um another request well actually not a request we see a lot of people searching our site for the hx 711 and i'm like oh yeah like it's a you know kind of a popular spi ish um uh wheatstone bridge slash strain gauge you know sensor so um, I decided to make a quick breakout similar to our NAU 7802. And last up. And last up, uh, this is like a funky chip. Um, I was looking for something else um, and bumped into this chip from WCH. So it's a UART to HID keyboard. So it pretends to be a keyboard and like whatever ASCII values you send over the RX and sorry, over the RX pin get converted into the character that's typed, I think. Anyways, we'll try it out. I, I have no idea. I'm assuming it works. Okay. But like for ESP32s, we don't have native USB. You can like have a HID keyboard. That's up secret. Okay, let's get some.